British manufacturing output falls again. The spectre of recession beckons ever more strongly. Good evening. He can't blame other people. He made the wrong call. We warned him it wouldn't work. That's how things have turned out. And rather than sort of in an out of touch way saying, I'm going to go on regardless, he should change course now and do the right thing. Without growth and jobs, we cannot get this deficit down. It's not easy to sell new cookers when household budgets are squeezed and far fewer people are moving house. It's very tough. It's very tough. The uh, consumer confidence levels are pretty low. So we're fighting for every sale we can get. So to survive, stoves cookers are having to expand overseas and they are selling into the Eurozone. If you're able to sell products in the Eurozone, that would tend to suggest things aren't as bad as the government like us to think. I, I don't know what the government want to tell us to think about the Eurozone, uh, but all I know is that we've got products that European consumers want. Uh, we're not selling in all European countries, we're selling in a few European countries, but we believe we can sell more of our products into those countries. So if the Eurozone's not the problem, where is the answer? The Chancellor has been warned by bodies like the International Monetary Fund that a lack of growth could be more dangerous to the British economy than the deficit that he's so determined to reduce. And today's figures will just increase the pressure on him to consider easing off the cuts and doing something to stimulate growth. Anything that stimulates demand, like the Bank of England increasing the money supply, would be very popular here at Stoves but it would come too late for Thames Steel in Kent. They called in the administrators today, and with 400 jobs at risk, the union calls it a devastating blow.